Hey, greetings from Texas. All right, today we're going to make a pair of chopsticks. Um, I think they are the most universal kind of eating implement, and um, if you're backpacking, they don't take up a lot of room. And if you don't have them, you can make them. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a pair of chopsticks. So what I have here is a uh, fairly not totally dry limb, which has a bunch of thorns. I already stuck myself. Um, so I, I'm going to look here. I'm going to take, uh, find two straight, the straightest pieces. I'm going to use my fingers as a guide here. Oop. Be careful. measure out two fairly straight pieces that I could use for my chopsticks here. All right, so that's what I'm going to deal with. Let me um, chop this down Just so it's easier to work with. Okay, we're going to work with this. Um, actually, you could just use that if you wanted. So let me go ahead and uh, clean these off and whittle them down a little bit. We'll make them look a little bit nicer. This is a uh, Mora 511. It's a budget knife, but for 10 bucks, you can't complain. Okay, so what I'm going to do here on this end, I'm going to make two flat spots to make a wider area to get uh, purchase on the food. And, um, you know, you just don't want it too big that you can't manipulate it. Okay, so here, here's my chopsticks here. Now, you see I have these two flat pieces. That'll help you kind of grab things from the side, and pick them up a little bit better. And then what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to, this is how I hold it. I'm gonna flatten out a little area right there where my thumb goes. Okay, that'll 
That'll prevent things from rolling. Okay, well there you go, folks. Got your bushcraft chopsticks, and it took me about 20 minutes. Okay, and I'm going to collect these uh, shavings and use them for my next fire.